everyone and welcome to my channel. It's Christmas morning and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, a peaceful and safe and healthy Christmas. I hope that you are all well, that you are with the people that you love and if you cannot be with the people that you love physically, that you are with them in spirit. And the title of this reading is for those who can't be here and it is inspired by the absolutely lovely piece of music that Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge, played at her Christmas carol service, very bravely stepped up and played the piano. It was incredibly moving. If you haven't seen it, I do really recommend it. I will put a link in a comment, a pinned comment, so that you can easily find it and go and watch it. It's absolutely lovely. Um, I say, as somebody who plays the piano really quite seriously, that she played beautifully. It, the piece got quite technically difficult towards the end, difficult uh, to, for timing purposes. Um, she she man managed absolutely beautifully and particularly difficult in that lighting. There was shadow falling over the music she was playing from. She didn't look nervous. She didn't hesitate. Um, it was really incredibly impressive and more than just incredibly impressive from a musical point of view for me was the fact that it was about the music, it was about the sentiment, it was not about her. And so I'm going to be doing a reading this morning. I didn't do one yesterday on Christmas Eve. I just wasn't feeling it. I had lots of topics that I could have read on, some of them quite salty, and I will be doing those in the next few days, but I just was not feeling it. And this morning when I saw that video I knew absolutely that I had to read on it and so I'm going to be reading on it but I'm going to be doing one of my compare and contrast readings because there has been such a contrast between the way Catherine has presented herself in the recent past and the way Meghan Markle has presented herself in the recent past. We had the pap walk, we had the Ellen show where she was really uh, the subject of mockery. She allowed herself to be humiliated for for likes, for popularity, whereas Catherine has stuck on the high road. She has applied herself to something. It took some effort to learn that piece, to practice that piece, to master it. So there is mastery on the one hand and there is mockery on the other. And I am going to be doing a reading, compare and contrast reading. I'll explain the cards as I go through them. I am using the Field Tarot, which I have not used for a while. It's a very good tarot deck. It's very abstract. So for those of you who are learning tarot, I always say this is not the deck for you. But it is uh, very good at reading energy, at reading the space between things. And in this case, we're reading the space between two people and how they have evolved, how their relationships with themselves is, how their relationships with their partners, how their relationships with the public is, how their relationship with us is with each other, how they viewed each other in the past, how they view each other now. And so quite a, quite a, broad, a broad spectrum in this reading, but there were so many things that I wanted to look at. I could have done lots of tiny little readings, but I thought better to take, take it all on head on and uh, off we go. And for once, I didn't pre-shuffle. So you're going to have to bear with me a little bit, a little bit of a preamble this morning and a little bit of a shuffle that's going on here. I normally pre-shuffle, but for some reason, the cards just wanted to sit quietly while I talk to you before I actually got into shuffling with them. So I'm going to do one more shuffle and uh, then off we go. It's an 11 card reading. And I'm going to be putting Catherine on the left of the reading, Megan on the right. And uh, let's see what the cards have to say. And they say, no, you're not quite done. One more. I always say that. And then out they come. Out they come flying. And interesting cards that are flying out. But uh, let's see what the reading has to tell us. Catherine on the left, Megan on the right. Try and fit all my cards in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. I'm doing this reading early because uh, lots of children around playing later on. So uh, trying to get some quiet in. And uh, the heart of the matter is this middle card, heart of the matter between them. And that is the Nine of Cups in reverse. Fulfillment, it's called, in this deck, which is an interesting interpretation of the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is about your wishes coming true, your dreams, what you want out of life at an emotional level of a fulfillment level. And it's lying between the two of them. So a very disappointing, disappointing connection for both of them. Uh, that it didn't work out, that they could have been sisters really, they should have been sisters and they were not. And so that is the heart of the matter and the underlying energy of this reading which I have asked to be the challenge as if that is not enough is the Prince of Discs which is the Prince of Pentacles which is Prince Harry. And you'll see the word reliability at the bottom of this card, reliability in the reverse that Prince Harry has not been reliable and in fact to both of them he hasn't been solid he hasn't been dependable he hasn't stuck to a path he hasn't mastered himself and of course i have to say this is all my opinion and this is allegedly and this is a tarot reading for entertainment purpose purposes on Christmas morning of 2021. If you are catching this reading uh, very much in the future, this is where we are in space and time right now while I'm doing this reading. So very interesting. Fulfillment in reverse, reliability in reverse as the energies that will colour this reading. So the first card proper of this reading is for Catherine. How she feels in herself at the moment. How does she view herself? And there it is, the Determination card, the Prince of Swords. She really has decided to take the bull by the horns and to, to master herself. I get that again. She's decided to, to face her fears, to face her anxiety, her, her, her worries about public speaking. She's gone even further than dealing with public speaking. She's now playing the piano in public. That's a huge step forward for her. Very determined. It's very focused. It's, it's that iron in the soul uh, that she is, is cultivating now. She's been through this very difficult time. And I, I constantly get... Uh, as I'm looking at that card that she's got she's getting it from her brother and we do know that she allegedly has been looking to him for support and guidance and I think I, I, it's down on one of the readings that I want to do I'll try and do it in the near future but I do get that he has really helped her he's helped her to tough up and to say don't worry about it don't read uh, what nasty comments people are saying don't mind the sugars don't care about the fact that um, Megan is always trying to throw something at you and derail you and throwing hate your way and um, trying to overshadow anything positive that you do just tough up deal with it get on with it and you'll be okay you'll win in the end very interesting card. Uh, it's a masculine energy and it's a very determined, a very fierce uh, warrior-like energy. That Prince of Swords, which is in normal tarot, is the Knight of Swords. How's Megan, Megan in herself right now? And uh, Ace of Wands in reverse. Not good. Not good. This uh, is described as energy in this deck. Sometimes I don't agree with the, the, the wording at the bottom of these cards, but energy is an appropriate um, uh, uh, description for the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is of course about new beginnings, uh, passionate new beginnings, uh, can be new uh, relationships, uh, very fiery, dramatic relationships, but also just about ideas, new paths, new a new creative endeavors, new projects, and she's out of ideas. She's out of, she has no enthusiasm for the path that she's on. She's feeling very low. I would say this is the lion bed with the rose card, the ace of wands in reverse. So unlike Catherine, who is very determined, very upright, very focused right now, she's got this 
this low energy, the scattered feeling, this almost depressed energy. When a fire sign is down, this is a fire sign in reverse, the Ace of Wands. It's it's really it's it's having a mental health day, a day off, lying in bed. And um, so, how is she getting on with her spouse? How is Catherine getting on with her spouse at the moment? What's their relationship like? Wow, what a wonderful card to come out strength. That is normally the card that we get for Harry and Meghan. But Universe has decided to put it on Team Cambridge's side today in this reading. That is support, encouragement, loyalty, devotion. It's all the most positive attributes of Leo. Neither of them, of course, is a Leo. But there it is. It's that loyalty, that devotion, that support, that, that courage that you get, that, that, that confidence that you get when you are with someone who encourages you and supports you. And you could see throughout that program, the carol service, how William was looking at Catherine. And also at the Earthshot uh, Awards, he was looking at her with absolute admiration, um, so impressed by her and how she has stepped up and dealt with it, the tremendous challenge that this relationship with Meghan Markle has thrown at her and the failure of her relationship with Prince Harry, Prince Unreliable, there in the heart of this reading. So that's amazing energy on that side. How is Meghan getting on with Prince Harry? At the moment and this card came out when I was shuffling I don't know if you noticed it but I said that's interesting energy that's come out and here it is the Fool beginnings card and it's the beginnings card the Fool the zero of the tarot of the major arcana in reverse that's not good uh, another major arcana we've got a major arcana there we've got a major arcana here but it's the Fool card in reverse uh, it looks like any attempts that they have uh, been making to rekindle their relationship, to start it over. I've often had an idea when I, I'd say that, that they might be going through another wedding ceremony. You know how people every few, few years decide to um, recommit to each other, do uh, say their vows in some form of ceremony. That kind of idea is not working out. It's not working out with the Fool card in reverse, the Beginnings card in reverse. There's no way of, re of restarting this relationship, of trying to get it onto a better path. And also, because it is the Fool card in reverse, it's that idea of doing something reckless, rash, foolhardy, and living to repent that decision. And he's there. He's there in this center of this reading. I think a lot of uh, regret about picking the prince, the, the wrong prince, and getting uh, hitched to that one who had all those issues, allegedly has all those issues. Well, we have to, we see it every day. I don't need to say allegedly, he has issues. So, relationship with the public. How is Catherine's relationship with her public at the moment? And isn't that interesting? It's the Capricorn card. It's the devil. She is, of course, the Capricorn. Uh, no shame on her when I say that's the Capricorn card is the devil. The dev devil isn't all bad. It's the devil in reverse. And the devil, of course, is uh, the toxic stuff, the lies, the addictions, the bad habits, the negativity. It's in reverse, though. She has managed to overcome all that toxicity all that bad press, all those lies that have been told about her. This really is incredible. I almost want to stop this reading right now and say, OK, we're done. We've seen enough. But it's a very powerful energy because all the stuff that has been thrown at her from this side of the reading, the Meghan Markle side, she has risen above it. She has conquered it. She has handled it. She's handled it because I think she's got this guy. Uh, he has her back. And he has been comforting her and encouraging her and telling her that she's in good hands and she will overcome this. And she has overcome it with the devil in reverse. I don't need to say any more. That's the Oprah interview right there. She overcame it. She overcame the Catherine made me cry lie and uh, so on and so on. And well done to her. Very, very, very impressive. When you see these cards, you can see how hard she has worked to master herself and to overcome and to endure. And so Meghan Markle, her relationship with the public at the moment. Six of discs, she's still, she's still trying. She's still trying for that charitable angle, generosity. 
and uh, in some quarters she's still winning she's still winning that uh, good opinion from people we saw it with the card the Christmas card that they released and uh, it was all about we in in your in your honor or for on your behalf we have made all these charitable donations and a lot of people said well thank you but I can make my own charitable donations don't need you to do it but there are people who are still drinking the Kool-Aid. It's a minor arcana, six of pentacles, six of discs, generosity. She's trying for that. She's trying very hard to tell people that I'm the humanitarian. I'm the one who does the good deeds. I'm the one who donates to charity. I'm the one that runs a charitable foundation. And there are people who still believe it and will always believe it. I met one the other day here in the village and I was amazed that uh, she was such an ardent supporter of Meghan Markle. How could she not see the things that I see? But that's why we're here on this earth. We all have different perspectives. We all have different points of view. We all notice different things about people, focus on them. So uh, she had a completely different view of Harry and Meghan as a couple. And she's not the only one out there that has that view of them. So nothing negative there. Um, now we're getting to their own relationship. And the first card of these two uh, cards to do with their relationship is how Catherine saw Meghan Markle in the past. What, what, um, what was their relationship like in the past from Catherine's point of view? The hermit. Catherine wanted to withdraw she, I think, felt quite intimidated by her and uh, had to retreat, had to go within. The Hermit is another major arcana. We lots of major arcanas on Catherine's side. And uh, she had to go within and she had to do some soul searching and she had to look at herself. I'm getting very um, almost panicked energy by this as, as I'm reading this. My heart's beginning to pound. Um, that she thought, um, I really need to step up i need to look at myself i need to look at what i'm doing i need to figure out if i'm on the right right track the right path am i working hard enough am i connecting with people the right way very difficult for her it was a very very difficult encounter one that made her doubt herself one that made her really do a lot of soul searching how did megan feel about catherine initially wow ace of swords in reverse this is your a ruthless cutting out card. Then remember there was that story that she gave Catherine a knife for a Christmas present. And I did a reading on that, in fact, a long time ago, uh, early, early days of this channel. And when I say early days, I've only been going for a few months, but it feels like years. And uh, but not in a bad way, not in a bad way at all. Lots of gratitude when I say that for all of your support. I did a reading on this and it's in the Royals playlist. I don't know the number of it offhand, but it will be back there somewhere. And it literally showed a knife when I asked if it was true that as far as I can recall, uh, that's what the card came up with. It came up with a knife and there is this, is this a dagger I see before me card? Yes, it is a dagger. And Megan really hated her. I'm going to say allegedly hated her really wanted to get rid of her really very powerful negativity coming from this card it's a ruthless and brutal cutting out of someone it's really quite a terrifying card and i got that same energy when i did that reading i can remember that energy as i say i'm empath i do these based on energies and intuition these readings same energy so it's there. It was there in the past. We'll see what's going on now in the present. What is going on with Catherine in the present? How does she feel about Meghan Markle right now? And uh, it's the chariot in reverse. And the chariot in reverse is, of course, a difficult card because it's a movement card, but a movement that stopped. And it's, it, to me, it's another major arcana. It's to me telling me that she'd like to put this whole episode behind her, but she can't. Uh, there are the two horses, the, the, the white horse and the, and the black horse. That's the, the yin and the yang, the balance that's needed. You're driving two energies together with the moon in this card. Of course, because it's cancer. It uh, is a Cancerian card and we have Cancer energy. I think Catherine is a Cancer moon. I've forgotten, I've gone blank with astrology, but William, of course, is the Cancerian in her life. I think she feels that it has, to some extent, derailed him. This, this Megan association has 
blocked at some of their plans, blocked at some of the things that she wanted to do, that they as a couple wanted to do. Um, it's also the card of ambition, political ambition. I think she feels that, that Meghan Markle is ruthlessly ambitious, politically ambitious, but that ambition has been stopped. So there's a lot going on with this card. I could probably talk an hour for, on this card. I'm probably forgetting all kinds of important things because it's quite hard on the spot to hone in on the thing that's most important when I've got lots of, of interpretations shouting in my mind for attention, their hands up saying, you know, pick me, miss, pick me, kind of, kind of a schoolroom vibe going on with this card. Um, but the ones that are coming to me are that Catherine wishes she could put this behind her, but she can't. Uh, that's the chariot. But her view of Meghan Markle is... First of all, political ambitions that have run right but have been blocked. And uh, second one has, has uh, gone black. Yes, uh, so it's political. But the second thing is more general, that she views Meghan Markle as having gone off the rails. The chariot is about uh, really driving forward energetically towards something. And she sees it as having been stopped. That progress has been stopped. And I think that that's a sense of accomplishment in there. So there's, there's two energies. First of all, I wish I could put this behind me. I wish I could free myself of this difficult energy that I'm dealing with. But second of all, it's been stopped. It's been blocked. She has worked so hard that I think she feels she has learned how to deal with it, that she can now derail Meghan Markle. And, and a lot of things, comments people were making about this musical number that Catherine sprang on everyone was what a surprise it was and how well kept that secret was. Nobody knew about it. Nobody had an inkling that this was going to happen. And she sprang it on everybody and it was a real PR coup if we're looking at that aspect of things. There was no way that Megan could sneakily do something to derail her. Catherine Catherine won this round. She was able to prevent Megan from uh, saying, well, I play the ukulele with my my feet or something. And uh, look at me, uh, because that's the level that she's operating at at this point. That's the level that this side is operating at. We've got the full card in reverse. We've got the ace of wands in reverse. And uh, I said mastery, mockery when I started this reading. So Megan, how does Megan now see Catherine while the tower in reverse? This is a major arcana and uh, lots of major arcana have come out in this reading showing that this is a narrative that is playing out. My goodness, I hate that word narrative now, but it keeps popping up. This is something that's very public. It's archetypal. It's operating at that meta level. I keep saying we're at meta levels now with these kinds of things because these are for all of us to watch and look at and learn from. Pick sides, as I said. If people are not all picking the Cambridge side, obviously. But uh, she feels that Catherine has uh, broken her with this tower card, uh, lightning that's crashed down. She didn't expect this. She didn't expect this kind of response. She didn't expect that her world, her own world, would come crashing down. It's a real shock. This, I think, this performance on the piano came as an absolute bolt of lightning out of the blue, shocked her to the core, knocked her tower down. Um, tower in reverse can mean rebuilding after a, a calamity, after a total collapse, a psychic collapse I'm getting. But in this, in this case, uh, built on these cards, I see this as a terrible psychic collapse, that it really has caused some kind of almost mental breakdown with Meghan Markle at this point, that she has come up against a Capricorn. You don't, don't take a Capricorn on unless you really um, have all the cards in your hand. And um, absolute respect for Capricorn energy. It endures. It really endures. I have a Capricorn moon. It's quite a difficult moon to have. Those of you out there who are astrologers, those of you out there who have Capricorn moons will know what I'm talking about. It's difficult energy, but it endures. Meghan Markle picked the wrong battle to fight and she's lost. And uh, long reading. Uh, it's probably about five readings in one. Uh, I hope that you <laughs> enjoyed it if you made it to the end. Thank you for watching. I wish you a peaceful and a blessed Christmas day and I will see you again tomorrow.